Yeah, it's something that most of us don't think about. This smoke shop still closed at least temporarily until they get the damage repaired and replace whatever items were taken. We think about what it costs the business owner to make those repairs and to recover, but a lot of times we don't think about what the real price is for the neighborhood. It's hard. Uh, I can't really take that much more because uh, my insurance kicked me out of my policy because uh, they, they don't want to deal with this anymore. Richard Carmion is once again cleaning up shattered glass after his urban city smoke shop is hit by thieves a fourth time in the last several months. It's real tough too. I'm also behind on my rent, so it's actually even being harder for me. Overnight, a camera captured three men breaking into the shop in the 1400 block of West Foster. The thieves smashed glass as they ransacked the business. It's unclear what they took, if anything. The shop was one of four targeted in September of last year. The small business owner says while the break-in could cost him thousands of dollars, others say the effects of the crime on neighborhood businesses cost even more. A lot of the business owners are small mom and pop shops, and they are they are surviving from month to month sometimes. Bill Morton is the president of the Rogers Park Chamber of Commerce. He says around half of the storefronts along Howard Street in his neighborhood are empty, primarily because small business owners can't bounce back from these crimes. Some businesses can't even recover after break-ins. And while there's little data that specifically addresses the economic impact that crime has on neighborhood businesses, a May 20 2022 study in the Journal of Urban Economics draws the following conclusions. Property crimes, especially theft, but including burglary, tend to have a negative impact on business longevity. The consumers take crime rates into consideration when deciding whether to visit a business, and the perception of violence induced by crime incidents scare off consumers, potentially making businesses less profitable. Carmion is vowing to keep the store he opened only a year ago open and is planning to start an e-store. He says he's looking into a new security system and refuses to let thieves win. You know, you just got to keep fighting through it, you know. Don't let somebody uh, tear you down and just keep working, up, work, working at it. The uh, store owner hopes to be reopened fully by tomorrow. As for those thieves, police are still looking for them. No one is in custody. No arrests have been made. And investigators are trying to determine if they have a hand in any other robberies or burglaries in the neighborhood. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.